Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to download financial data using Python. The core module we'll focus on is Y Finance. We will also utilize Pandas as well. Y Finance is a Python module created after Yahoo Finance's API was discontinued. The module allows users to download historical market data from Yahoo Finance. The module was created by Ran Arusi. Let's take a look at how we can manually download data from Yahoo Finance. Here I have an ETF for the QQQ, which tracks the NASDAQ 100. If I want to download the data, I have to go to historical data. I have to pick the time period I want to download the data for, whether it's five days, five years, or the max amount of data that Yahoo provides. I want to see historical prices. I want it as daily and I hit apply and then I can download and I have a CSV file downloaded. If we want to do this for multiple stocks or automate this, we need to use Python. This is what we'll focus on first is downloading historical stock and index data. By default, Y Finance will output the data into a pandas data frame. I'm going to create a data frame. I'm going to call it NASDAQ 100 for the QQQ. Next, what I need to do is I need to call Y Finance and I want to use the download function. What I need to input first are the tickers and it is going to be a string QQQ. What I want to input next is the period and we can see here are the periods that we can download using Y Finance. I am going to do it for one year and that's going to return us one year of data. Next, we need to set the interval. This can be minute by minute up to three months for the intervals. What I am going to do is I am going to get one month of data. Finally, what I want to do is I want to round up the prices. I'm going to specify rounding is equal to true. And we are going to run this. We have our data downloaded. Next, what I am going to do is actually look at the data frame itself. Here we can see we have the date of the price and we have it on the beginning of the month, the open, the high price of the stock, the low close, adjusted close, which is any dividends that would be adjusted for, and the number of ETFs that were traded for that specific month. Next, what I want to do is I want to get multiple historical prices. This time I will call the variable ETF data like before, we're going to call Y Finance and download. This time we are going to input multiple tickers. I want the QQQ, which tracks the NASDAQ 100, SPY, which tracks the S&P 500, and DIA, which tracks the Dow Jones. And we are going to put this in a string and we can just have spaces in between and that will return the data. And like before, we'll keep all the other par parameters the same. Let's take a look at our data frame and we are going to call it. We can see that we have all the data and we can see that we have a multi-index. So we have the adjusted close, then underneath that we have that for the specific ETF, the close for the specific ETF. We can dig down deeper. If I just want to see the adjusted close, I can call on the data frame and type in adjusted close. Now we have the adjusted closing prices for all the ETFs here. We can also get specific company financial data. In this case, I want to get information for Apple. I'll call the variable AAPL, and then I am going to call YF dot, and this time I am going to call it ticker, and that will return information on the specified company. We need to input the ticker for Apple, and it is AAPL. And this time, instead of seeing the prices, what I want to get are some financial data for the company. I'm going to type in get financials. And we can see here we have financial data for given quarters for Apple. And we can see that we have research and development, income before tax, net income, as well as other ones. We can also get things like the cash flow statement or balance sheet using the get functions here. We can also retrieve financial news. So I am going to call on Apple again, and I am going to call get news. And we have the news listed out here. Let's click on this and we can see that we have a article from Yahoo Finance on Apple stock. 
But we'll finally look at our retrieving some recommendations from analysts. The way that we'll do that is we're going to type in Apple and recommendations. Here we have a data frame that lists the firm, whether it is buy, sell, outperform. And we also have the dates of these recommendations from these analysts. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you want to learn more, Ran also wrote a article about how to use Y Finance. You can also check out the Y Finance module on GitHub. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks everyone for watching and happy coding.